Hi, everybody. I'm Rob with Weller Bee Supply, and today we're going to talk a little about smoker fuel. Um, over the years, I've probably used about any type of fuel you can imagine. Uh, pine shavings, pine needles, dead grass, weeds. But this here is really nice because once you light it, it will keep going. You don't have to maintain the bellows on your smoker to keep it lit. Uh, has a real good burn time. And once you have used it, if you take and snuff your smoker out, you can relight and reuse again. So it does have good burn time. Um, we've put a we've got a sample bag that we're going to carry on our website and a two pound bag. So if you want to give it a try, we'll have this small bag available and see how you like it. And then you can always buy a larger bag if you like how it works. So I've got two smokers here. One I have fresh fuel in, and this one here I've already lit and I've used it. And I just want to show that you can relight it and start all over. Now we use two different types, or you can use whatever type you have, but I have a butane torch and a propane torch because it does seem like it takes a little bit of flame or quite a bit of flame in order to get it going. But once you've got it going, it, it will continue to smoke for quite a time. So we're going to go ahead and take the one here. We've got the fresh fuel in and I'll use the butane because it's got the automatic igniter on it. But when you light it, you want to get a flame started. So you're gonna, it's gonna take a little while to get, get some heat built up in it. But we're gonna go ahead and light until we see a flame. And once we get a flame going, well that lets me know that the fuel has started. So I'm starting to get a flame already. That seems to be starting to go. So I've got a flame going here now, and the wind's blowed it out, but you can see it's smoking pretty good already. So I'm going to just leave that go. We'll let it smoke a while. And then this one here is one that I've already used. And as you can see, it really don't go to a lot of ash. It remains the in the same shape it was in. Uh, it's made out of all natural material. There's no wood involved in it. So I'm going to take this and relight it. And I've had this going a couple times now. But it actually seems like once you've lighted it, you're actually starting restarting the charcoal that's left. So we'll get it flaming again also. And the nice thing about it not being wood is when you're working your bellows, you're not uh, getting sparks like you will off of wood or dead weeds or something like that. Uh, it seems like it works pretty good. So we've got this one lit again. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just set it here and let it smoke a while. But this one has already, it's smoking. It's, it's already started. I haven't touched the bellows. So that just shows you that it pretty much smokes on its own once you get it started. So if you close it up and you do actually start using your bellows, your smoke is going to get heavier. So, but it's a cool smoke. There's not a lot of heat in it, which is good. And also without having ban ambers, you don't have to worry about blowing it into the hive and burning your bees. So we've got, like I say, we've got smoke going here. I might have not have put enough flame on this one. We'll go ahead and hit it again. It is smoking, but just not quite as much. So 
So I really don't have a timer going, but I guess you could go by the timer on the video. But we're getting a little bit of flame again on this that we've already used. Okay, now we got some smoke. So like I say, we'll leave that go. This one here is still remaining to smoke. We'll open up here where you can maybe take a better look at how it's smoking. This one's going to where it's blocking out the other one. But it don't take any maintenance. Once you get it started, it keeps going on its own. You have to use very little air with it. But once it gets going, you're you're not having to worry about your smoker going out all the time. So as you can see, this one's starting to smoke a little more. But any other time that I'm using a different type of fuel, it seems like I'm constantly maintaining, trying to keep heat going. Where this, I can set down on the ground, do what I need to do with my hive, and when I bring it back up, I'm not having to mess around restarting my smoker. So I would definitely give it a try. Um, we don't promote a lot of product on our website, uh, but this here, usually if something works, and I think it works well, um, I'll, I'll back it. And like I say, give it a try. I think you'll like it. Um, the burn time is long on it. It seems to last quite a while. So therefore, the expense is kind of spread out over a period of time. And when you get ready to extinguish it, I either use, I've got an old dowel rod here that I've used, and I'll just put that right in the end of my smoker and that over in a little time it'll snuff it out or simple as a corn cob. If you just put a corn cob down in the end of your smoker, it'll choke it off. It, it starves enough air that it, it will eventually go out. But that way you can reuse it. You're not having to dump it out or whatever. You can just smother the flame and then the next time you go to use it, you're just basically removing your plug, whatever you used, and relight it. So, all I ask, give it a try, see if you like it. Um, we hope to keep making a few more videos. And we hope you'll visit our website. So thanks for your time.